guys. So, um, I keep hearing that the Switch doesn't have a whole lot of third-party support. It won't have a whole lot of third, uh, third-party support. I went and picked up this list from GameStop. See right there, GameStop. I went and picked this up, looked on the internet, and found out that a lot of this shit's been confirmed. It's not just printed off bullshit. Um, and through past months um, since this launch, I've been paying attention. Okay? And through paying attention, the Switch has been getting some third-party love. And what do I mean? I mean, they've released like one game a month that's first party. And then third party developers have released like two, maybe three games per month. Which actually means third party is actually outweighing the first party games. Considering there's more third party support coming out for the system than Nintendo releasing first party support. And people are kind of throwing shade with Nintendo saying, oh, but it's re-releases here or whatever you know what playstation is re-releasing pretty much anything they can get their fucking hands on this generation i don't want to hear that shit from you and you can fact check that all you want to god of war 3 dishonored um do you really need me to go into any more detail final fantasy 10-10-2 um i can do this all fucking day all right, so before you talk about re-releases, realize that if you own a PS4, that's a re-release machine from hell, all right? So they're getting a lot of uh, third-party love, and it's a beautiful thing, okay? Especially after the uh, Wii U was a terrible fucking console. Here's what is going on in this month alone on the physical side of games. We have Sonic Mania, Troll and I, Minecraft Story Mode. Those are three, three games from third-party developers. And I know two of them are indie titles, but a third-party game is a third-party game any way you slice it. And then the last one is Mario Plus Rabbids. And it's like it's half a first party game and half a third party game so it could be four third party games and half of a first party game depending on how you yourself want to slice that up okay and then if you want to get even more technical here's what we have come in for us next month we have lego worlds rbi baseball rayman legends nba 2k dragon ball xenoverse the Ninjago movie. How many third party games is that? I'll go through them again. We have Lego Worlds, RBI Baseball, Rayman Legends, NBA 2K, Early Tip Off, Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. That's five right there, bro. Um, then we have the Ninjago movie. That's six. That's before we even get to the one and only first party game. And do you know what the first party game is? Pokin Tournament. The re-release from the Wii U. So there is third party support. A lot of third party support, alright? And that is next month's games. On the side of the physicals i'm not even talking about the eShop games because i don't pay any attention to the eShop because it's still lacking if you ask me okay now if we go past pokin tournament into the oh shit um that's not even the end of the third party games because there's a couple more um we have poi which i can't pronounce that comes out uh, four days after Pokemon Tournament, but it's a third-party game. It's probably an indie game. We have a game called Sodom Drop Connect Erase on the 26th, uh, and then FIFA 18 on the 29th. Um, fuck, if next month, September, is not like release fucking city on third party support on the switch the switch is getting fucking hammered with third party games don't try to clam me 
and come at me with it's not getting any third party support. I don't care if FIFA 18 isn't the full fucking game. I don't think anybody cares. But it's going to be there. Okay, this thing is getting slammed with third party games next month. And an ass ton of them. One of them I'm buying personally. And that's Xenoblade vs. Uh, uh, not Xenoblade, but Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I can't get Xenoblade out of my head because that game is a fucking amazing game. Um, I'll be buying that the day of release. Um, Rayman I'll probably be buying because it's portable. Um, Pokemon Tournament. I don't know. I'm not a Pokemon fan. I didn't even play Pokemon Go unless I'm with my girlfriend and even then I don't even care but I, I might buy it just because it's portable um I don't even know what POI is I, I don't know what that is but I'll look into it uh Sodom Sodom uh drop connect race I will definitely see what that is again it sounds like an indie title indie titles are still third party games pardon me and kicking off October, kicking October off, like just starting out the gate, Batman, the Telltale series. Holy shit. Okay. It's just, it keeps going. Okay. Third party support continues October with Batman, the Telltale series. Super Beat comes out the same day. And then on 1010, we have Battle Burst. We have on 1017, Adam Verge Multiverse. Um, that's 1017. Just Dance on the 24th. Monster Jam Crush It on the 24th. Knights of Azura 2 on the 24th. Um, Red Out comes out on the 24th. And then on the 27th, we have Mario Odyssey. And then on the 31st, we have Cartoon Network Battle Crush. And on the 31st, we have, I want to say, It'll Do 2 Plus and Tiny Barbarians. You see how that fucking is going? Third party support is just now, as of fucking September, going fucking ham. Holy shit. I just went and picked this up this past Monday. And I mean, I looked at it, but I didn't even look at the fucking dates. Holy fuck. And people won't be like, oh, it's getting no third party support. This is just this past Monday's pickup for me, this list, just to see what was coming. These games are going to be fucking like. All over the fucking place. Nintendo is out there on the fucking grind. Holy fuck. And yes, I know. Rayman Legends is a port. I know that. Pokemon Tournament is a port. I know that. Telltale series Batman is not really a port. It just came out this generation. But it's been out. I know that. FIFA 18 is the new FIFA. I think Knights of Azura 2 has been out, but I'm not 100% sure. Red Out, I'm not sure. Battle Network, or Cartoon Network Battle Crash has been out for a while. I know, I've seen it on the 3DS. But still, all these third party games fucking just flooding the system. Holy shit. Say what you want about the Switch, but as of September. This thing is going into overkill when it comes to third party games. Say what you want. I'm going to end the video there because like I said, you don't believe what I'm telling you right now? Look, right there. What does that say? It says GameStop right there. You can go into your GameStop. You can go on the internet. You can go check out uh, Nintendo coming soon. Do whatever you got to do. These games are seriously ready to drop as soon as September hits as soon as October hits man this thing is seeing serious third-party support and it's just not gonna stop anytime soon and you can get all kinds of mad at me just because I'm telling you this but I figured hey 
the faucet's got to turn on sometime and these games have got to start coming out because a lot of these games have been out and rhyme has got a release date in case you didn't know rhyme will be out in november myself i've been waiting on that game to release on the switch and we got a release date so if you were wondering uh when that game was coming it is coming out and it is coming out in november and uh let's see if i can find the 14th november 14th um so get ready for that so until next time you guys deuces